Hey everybody, this is Matt Dickman of Techno Marketer, and this is another edition of Whiteboard Session. Uh, this is a series where I take you through some of the jargon and more complicated terms that are thrown around from a uh, marketing perspective, leveraging technology. And today we're going to take a look at Ajax. So really, there's a good example that I use every time I'm in a presentation to explain exactly what Ajax is. So let's say basically you're doing your taxes. Everybody knows how to do this. When you fill out your tax form, usually the question that gets everybody is, what is your local school district? So the way that this used to work is, you had a server, and the server had a database. So when you were filling out your taxes, basically it would start at the highest level. So it would ask you, what state are you in? So what you would do is fill out your state, and as soon as you edit the pull down menu and hit the submit button, it would go back to the server. Okay, The server would tell the database which state you chose. The database would send that back and a new page would be loaded. So you come to the second page and your state would be there and it asks you what city you're in. Okay, Same thing, pull down menu, you do that send it back to the server when you select your city, the, c the server queries the database, the database results come back, and it loads another page. So this page would have your state already there, your city would already be there, so it asks you your zip code. Same exact thing. Submit your zip code back to the server, queries the database, loads the next page, and the final page that you would get would have your state, would have your city, would have your zip, and would have your district. So basically, what you can see is that every time a piece of data changes, you have to reload, requery the database, and bring that back. So let's take a look at how Ajax works. So what Ajax stands for is asynchronous JavaScript and XML. So Really, the JavaScript part is code, so you don't really need to know about that. The XML part is just data, and you can leave that to the technology folks as well. It's really the asynchronous part that gets the most attention. So what this basically means, let's take the same example. So let's say you're doing your taxes again, and the page starts the same way, state, Except this time it doesn't have a submit button. Um, the server is still involved, and the database is still involved as well. So basically what happens now is as you start, let's say you go through your state, you hit O when you pull the pull down menu. As soon as you hit the O behind the scenes, what this is doing is it's going to the server, it's saying, okay, he's going to pick an O. Give me back all the O's. As soon as you click on Ohio, it loads the cities. So without the page changing, it's loading data behind the scenes. So that's the asynchronous part in that, um, you know, all of that kind of processing that's happening with, with all of the fields is happening without having to reload a page, which is what makes Ajax look really smooth. Uh, you know, it's what runs Google Reader, Google Documents, um, some of Microsoft's new stuff is on a similar technology, but the principle is the same. It's asynchronous, it's behind the scenes. So if I hit city, let's say I hit Cleveland, what it's gonna do is as soon as I start typing in CL, it's gonna start going, okay, he's typing in CL, give me back all the CLs. Uh, it starts automatically looking for the district. So that as soon as I hit Cleveland, my districts have already loaded in the background. And um, so that's really what the asynchronous part means. So as you can see, uh, there are some problems that this generates. And this is where the idea of the page view dying comes into play. Because now you've got one page. See, before we went through this process, we had four pages, four page views, okay, four ad impressions. Now you've got one page and all of this uh, processing is happening behind the scenes on the server and it's being reloaded to the user in a way that uh, is non-intrusive and is really, really smooth. Um, 
So that's Ajax in a nutshell. If you have any questions on this, just uh, shoot me an email, mattdickman at gmail.com, or leave a comment. And uh, I'm completely open to suggestions in this series, so if there's a whiteboard session, if there's a term, if there's a theory that you're confused on that's more technical, uh, that you hear people just throw out and you don't think they know what it means, uh, leave me a comment or drop me an email. That's it for this time. I'll see you next time.